All right, so what's the big story not being told? Well, the big story I see is it's not so much fake news, it's the bias news and what they eat. The editors choose not to say. No, well, yeah. Like right now, I think that uh, between Google, Amazon, <coughs> and Facebook, and those guys, they own such a big chunk of the social media network that if they decide to uh, censor uh, conservative posts and thoughts and ads, that they just don't mention it, it doesn't show up, and conservatives are lost all the way to get their message out. Uh -huh. And I think that's happening, but the sad thing is that this is again where, like, the Republicans have a stupid party, they shouldn't be indebted to them, they should start their own. I don't see why they can't do that. Well, I can't say why, you know, okay, so they're, they're private. But at the same time, you know, Bob Bell was private one time. Yeah. I mean, you could call uh, antitrust. Yeah, and Mr. Zuckerberg didn't do himself any favor by not showing up in England. You heard about that? No. What happened <laughs> Well, Europe, they're much more sensitive to this free speech thing or, you know, the... Uh, the censorship? The censorship was told on uh, social media. Yeah. So they had a meeting in England and, and a lot of countries showed up. I mean, there were South American countries, there was Singapore, there was Canada. All these countries showed up and Zuckerberg just decided, no, it was too small for him. So they said basically the meeting was like two hours of fashion. Well, I guess we can get to the bottom of it if Mark was here. <laughs> well, if Mark was here, I wonder you know, if he could answer this question. <laughs> because they sent some low-level manager from Europe that, uh, you know, said, well, I'll have to get back to you. I'll have to get back to you. Well, I don't think that did Zuckerberg any favors. Well, they say Facebook. A lot of people, a lot of people leaving Facebook because they don't report it. Yeah. I'd like to see him get sued and go out of business. Yeah. He's got deep pockets. He builds a wall around his his mansion. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. And then that asshole Bezos that runs Amazon, that scam he ran, pouring all the the, the uh, cities around the United States. Oh, we're going to build our, our uh, second headquarters in your city. You yeah. Just have to submit. What are you going to give me to do that? Oh yeah. <laughs> so he drove those people nuts, so, submitting all these proposals for tax breaks that they really shouldn't be given to the richest guy in the world. Yeah. And then he had no intention of it. Where did he build? He built next to his two mansions on the East Coast. Uh -huh. Yeah. One in New York and one in Washington, D.C. And he got the tax breaks, and too. And he still got the tax breaks. Yeah. They said it in Europe that's illegal. And it should be illegal because who the fuck are the politicians to take away money from their coffers? They say, well, it'll bring jobs. Well, no, they, they, there's no uh, checks and balances there. He says he's going to bring 50,000 jobs over the next 10 years. If he doesn't, how do they sue him? They can't. They have not, nothing, no mechanism for that. Yeah. So it's all a big scam. Oh, yeah. I wonder what Bernie would have to say about that, that the richest man in the world is getting all these tax breaks. He's got more houses than I do. <laughs> I only got three. <laughs> Bernie's going to run again, I'm sure. Oh, yes, of course. He's going to, you know, just like him and Welch, they're going to, you know. It's just the thing is, you know, in, in the stupid Republican Party, you always had these factions that, uh, you know, the never-Trumpers and everything. Yeah. And, and, you know, now that Pelosi's going to be Speaker of the House, you know, is is Peter Welch going to speak up against Pelosi? Now, Welch has been there for quite a few terms. He should have a little seniority. But is he ever gonna? Is he no? Is he gonna speak up anything against her? No. Well, it could be like Bernie. Bernie was a laughing stock of Congress for thirty years. And yeah. And at the end, he comes out of nowhere. Yeah. I don't know. It's gonna Maybe be it's a, like that book, uh, Nancy Pelosi drew in the case of the missing challenger. Because <laughs> <laughs> those thirteen people, whoever they were, they signed it, said they wouldn't support her. Yeah. But they didn't have anybody to support. Her. Yeah. I can't believe I thought uh, the Republicans should. Uh, I didn't know Republicans had a say on that. Uh, no, this? no, this was the, uh, yeah. the Democrats. Yeah. 13 of them signed this letter saying they wouldn't support Nancy. This was 
like three weeks ago when you were talking about, yeah. you know, maybe she didn't have it, but then nobody would challenge her. Yeah. The only guy that might have could have was the one in uh, Long Island, New York, that, that Alexandra Ortega took. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he's just happy he got voted out, so now he can become a lobbyist and be rich. <laughs> yeah. 